Hi, and welcome to Fit and Flow. My name is Wendy, and I'm going to walk you through about a 30 minute home workout. And today, all we're going to be using is a set of light weights. So, I have a set of five pound dumbbells here. As always, you can increase that or lower that depending on your comfort zone. So, before we uh, get started, I'm going to run you through what we're going to do today. So, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up and get our blood flowing. We'll do some sun salutation series on the mat, and then we'll move into using our dumbbells, followed by a little bit of a yoga flow and cool down. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start with our feet parallel, and we're just going to do some reverse windmills. So your arms are going backwards in these circles. You're opening up your chest getting that blood moving all the way through your extremities. We're gonna slow it down here in just a moment. All right, let's do three, two, and one. Take those feet and just put them a little bit wider than hip width, and let's squat down. Now bring your left leg up. Very nice, and squat. Opposite leg, let's keep going. Very good. So you want to get deeper into that squat as you warm up. Keep that chest up and make sure that booty gets as low as you can get it. Okay, nice and low squats. Last one here. I'm going to turn to the side and your leg is going to go back in a lunge. Four, three, two, one. Now let's tap it up. And lunge. Three, two, one, and tap. Two more and bring it up. Last one on this side. All right, we're gonna switch sides now and bring it back. Three, two, one, bring it up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Very good. Feet together, inhale up. I want you to hinge forward. All right, I'm going to turn back to the side. Hinge forward. Your back is flat. You have a 90 degree angle here. Now you're going to lower your arms down. Bend your knees, round your back up. Very nice. Straight back up. Hinge forward. And bend and round your back. One last move before we go from the top. You're going to take that right hand and you're going to reach it over to your left or your left and reach it over to your right. And pulse, we're gonna switch sides. Bring that arm up and stretch it over. One more time, very nice. Starting from the top, backward windmills. Let's move a little bit faster through these. Open up those shoulders, open up that chest. Get that heart pumping a little bit because you're going to have an awesome day. All right, let's wind it down. Three, two, one. Widen those feet. Squat and lift that leg. And again. Woo! These feel so good. Get your legs going. Get that blood moving down in the bottom part of your body. All right, last one here. And up, we're going to lunge back. Ready? Lunge, pulse. Three, two, one, bring it in. Three, two, one, bring it in. And three, two, one, bring it in. Switch sides. And tap it up. Keep going. And tap it up. Let's do two more. And the last one here. All right, remember, bring those arms up. And let's hinge forward. Pause at 90. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Ready? Bend and lower your back. Round your back. Let's go straight back up. One more time. Hinge. Ooh. And bend and roll up. All right, take that one arm. Stretch it over to the side. You should feel a nice stretch all through here. Pulse. And let's switch sides and stretch. Lift up and go down again. 
lower that hand down. All right, your heart should be pumping a little bit. You should be nice and warmed up for today's workout. So, starting with our mat, our weights continue to chill here for a little bit. We're gonna start at the top of our mat here. And just like we did in warm up, we're gonna raise our arms up and we're gonna hinge forward and pause. And let's go all the way down. Hands on this mat, and let's step back to plank. Do a nice chaturanga to up dog. Curl those toes under. Push back into down dog. In down dog, you want your shoulders extended, nice and long. You want it your booty in the air. Try to get those heels to the ground if you need to. Bend your knees just a little bit to elongate that line. Very nice. Now let's bend these knees. Stretch out those hamstrings. Right, left, right, left. Keep it going. One more time on each side. And push all the way back. All right, let's come back to that plank. Just remember in plank, your core is tight, your booty is tucked under, and your hands are just below your shoulders. You're gonna lower down into side plank, but, not side plank, elbow plank, your arms are gonna be crisscrossed in front of you. So, lower down like this. You guys see here? So my body is in the same exact position, but my hands are, my arms, are on the ground, my forearms are on the ground, crossed in front of each other. Now you're gonna open up into side plank. Ah, see? Your arm's already in that side plank position. Now raise that top leg up. Woo, this is called star. Lower down, go back to center, and let's open up on the opposite side. Ready? And lift. Lower down. Keep going, we're gonna go back. Back to the first side, and keep moving, and open it up. Let's do two more times on each side. So walking elbow side plank. All right, and open. Last time here, bring it center. Let's rotate this way, Woo. and come back down and rotate to the other side. All right, come back center. All right, we're gonna uncrisscross our arms. So they are now parallel, the opposite direction. <laughs> so now they are facing forward. Now we're gonna take our hips, we're gonna do a pike. <sighs> hips are to the sky, you kinda look like you're in down dog on your elbows, and we'll lower back down. We're gonna do eight, and back up, and seven. And six, focus on that core. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one, very nice. Now you're gonna dip your knees. You got this, guys, hold this plank. Dip your knees for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Go ahead and drop those knees and let's push back into child's pose. Ooh, what'd you guys think of that? Did you feel it? You should have felt it in your core, in your shoulders. Full body work there. Now make this child's pose work for you. Take those fingertips and walk them out as far as you can. Stretch those shoulders out. Now let's come back up to all fours. All right. So no, no equipment on this one. We are gonna balance. So you're gonna take your left hand and your right leg and open it up. Stretch as long as you can. Your body is so long, you have a nice straight line. Now let's tuck it in, crunch that core and open it up, and crunch, and open, 
and crunch. Keep it going. Focus on that core. Let's do four more. That's four and three and two and one. All right. Put that hand and that knee back on the mat. Opposite side. Extend that leg out. Extend that arm out. And let's crunch it in. And open. And then crunch. Focus on that core. Keep going. You don't have to do sit-ups to get a strong core. And let's do four more. That was four. Three. And two. And one. Woo. Very nice. Put that hand back on the mat, knee back on the mat, curl those toes back under and push back into down dog. Stretch out those shoulders, nice long line. Again, you can bend those knees just slightly if you need to. Make that line as long as you can. Let's step it in right left. From the bottom, we're gonna bend our knees. Nice big inhale up. This time we're gonna fold forward, open those hands back up. And give me a half lift. All right, your back is flat. Your body is in 90 degrees in this half lift. Let's lower those hands back to the mat and let's step it back. One more, chaturanga. Lower that body, push forward into up dog. Up dog always feels so awesome. Curl those, curl those toes under and push it back into the up dog. Very nice. Take that right leg and open it up into single leg down dog. Open up those hips, stretch that leg into the air. It's okay if you look like this. Perfectly fine, this is still single leg down dog. But push as far as your body lets you. And let's take that right leg, that right knee, and meet it with your right elbow. Woo! And back up. And inside elbow. And up. Ready again, outside elbow. And up, focus on that core, keep it tight. Last time, hold it up here. Hold, 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 hold. You guys got this. All right, let's lower that leg all the way down and through into low lunge. Very nice. All right, raise those hands up. Woo, and back down. And bring them up. And down. Two more times. Raise them up. And down. Last time here. All right, all the way back to the mat. Replace that foot back into plank. Ready? Opposite side. Left foot opens up into single leg down dog. Stretch into it. You're increasing your flexibility. You're increasing your strength. You probably are sweating a little bit. All of that is good for you. Ready? Outside elbow. Bring it down and up. Inside elbow. And up. One more time. Outside. And up. Inside. And up. Woo, hold it up here. Try to get that heel to the ground. Open that leg up. Open that hip up. Let's bring it down. All the way down. Low lunge. Ready? Bring those hands up. And let's bring them up. And down for four. Breathe into this. Three. Two. And one. Bring those hands all the way back to the ground. Replace that foot back next to the other one. Push back into down dog one last time. Crouching down dog, bend both knees. And straighten them up for four. And three. And two. And one. Step it in right left. Slowly roll on up. All the way up. All the way up to your neck, shoulders come back, and you are standing tall. How do you feel? All right, that was our sun salutation series for this workout. 
Now we're going to move into our weights. So, again, these are five pound dumbbells. Not that much. But you might want to have a set of two or threes with you, or a set of tens, depending on your strength level. And you can move about the weights as you like. You don't have to stick with the same set of weights. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do a lunge. I'm going to pull forward just a little bit. We're going to do a lunge here. And we're going to do a pulse combo. Okay, so we're going to do a bicep curl with this. So bring it up. Pulse. Four, three, two. Bring that leg in. And four, three, two, and up. And four, three, two, and up. Last one. Four, three, two, and up. We're going to keep going with that pulse. Four, three, two. Watch my back leg. Lift. Four, three, two, and lift. And four, three, two. Last one. Four, three, two, and lift. Step it all the way in. Let's lower back that right leg and let's do it again. Ready? Four, three, two, and touch. Four, three, two, tap. Four, three, two, tap. One more. All right, you ready for the leg lifts? Four, three, two, lift them up. And four, three, two, up. Four, three, two, up. One more. Last one. Woo, you guys did it, that's awesome. We're gonna step to each side while doing a curl. So feet are together, ready, curl. Squat, center, and center. Very nice. Keep going. Get as low in this squat as you can get. You should be nice and warm. Let's keep it going. Let's do one more time on each side. All right, so now this next move. Our weights aren't really gonna do anything, but sit up here. So we're going to lean over to your right, okay? You're facing me, it's your right. And you're gonna put all your weight on this foot, this leg, so that this one can move. This is an abductor leg raise. Ready, we're gonna do eight. Raise it up, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Transfer that weight to your left side. That right leg is gonna lift up. Ready? And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We are gonna to turn to our sides and move to my mat. My feet are getting tired. We are going to do a lunge with a bicep curl, push forward into warrior three and do a tricep extension. So let's go. This is what that looks like. Lower down curl, push, balance, 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 extend, lower it down, curl, push, Extend, keep it going, curl, push, extend, very nice, you guys got this, focus on that balance, focus on that core, stay tight, and you'll keep it going, four more left, this is four, lower it down, and three, keep going, and two, last one here, and we're going to switch legs, and one, very nice, let's switch legs here, that right leg comes back, ready, let's lower down, and push, woo, extend, 
Wobbly on that side, huh? Lower down, push. Extend. Keep going. Try to get into that T right there. Let's keep it. Keep it up. We got four more, you guys. Ready? Lower. Three more. And two more. Right, last one right here. You guys have it. Woo. And extend. How's that feel? Are you panting like me? Very nice. We're gonna do some sumo, sumo squats next. So a sumo squat just means that your legs are gonna be pointed out, your feet are gonna be pointed out, and your feet are gonna be wide. So this is a shoulder, oblique, and leg killer. Ready? Lift those weights. Lower down, pulse. Four, three, two, and tilt. Four, three, two, and tilt. Four, three, two, and tilt. Singles. Ready, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse, four, three, two, opposite direction. Four, three, two, four, three, two, one more. Ready? Singles and tilt for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you guys got it, one, whoa, those were hurting. All right, we're gonna turn back, back into that lunge, but this time we're gonna hold that lunge. It's called a static lunge. So you're just chilling. You're sitting here in this lunge. Bicep curls, shoulder raises, ready? Bicep curl, side shoulder raise. Keep it up, bicep, and curl, that's two. And three, and four. Keep going, five, shoulders are back and up, chest is up. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Stay low. Raise those arms up. Rotate. Ah, shoulders are burning. Lower down. Ready for another round? Ready? Curl. Shoulders. Curl. Shoulders. That's two. And three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, you guys. Your shoulders got a little bit of a burn there, but we're not done torturing them. All right, we're gonna face you again. Wide stance. Okay, we're gonna do a side lunge, but our legs are gonna stay stationary. Okay, and a front shoulder raise. We just did side raises, forward raises. Ready? Bring it down and up and down. Switch sides. Keep going. Six more. Five. And four, and three, and two, last one, you got it, and one, very nice, wiggle those feet in, Ooh, are you feeling tired? I am, we're going to go back into that hinging action, so all of your weight is going to be on one foot. The other leg is gonna do the hinging at your hips. So we're gonna hinge forward. 
forward, forward, forward. Don't fall. So we're in warrior three. It's if your arms are down, pull. Tilt back up. Bring that knee all the way up. And press. Four on each side. Keep going. Pull. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe through all of these workouts. Every single move. Two more. Ready? Pull. Tilt. Press. Last one on this leg. Tilt down. And let's pull. Tilt. Knee all the way up. And press. Woo, switch legs. How's that face leg feeling? Does it get tired? All right, ready? Let's tilt. Keep that balance, focus on that core. Pull, tilt, and press. Come down. Lunge forward, lean forward, straighten that leg. Pull, tilt, knee comes up, and press. You guys, you guys are one more. You can totally do this. Keep that core tight. Pull. Bring that knee up. Last one. And press. Almost done with these weights, guys. One more thing, and we're gonna sit down. We're gonna think this is a break, but your obliques are gonna disagree. All right, so lay down. Your weights are still in your hands. Your palms are up. You're lifting your head and shoulders up, and you're gonna crunch to your right, center, and left. Come up, that's eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Woo! You guys are done with your weights. You can say goodbye to these babies for at least a day. All right, we're gonna put them to the side. We're gonna stand back up. All right, let's do just a tiny bit of yoga here. And start at the top of our mats. Just like in the beginning, we're gonna inhale. Stay up, this is mountain pose. You are standing tall, you are as long as you get. And let's hinge forward. Ooh, let's pause at 90. 90, this is a 90 degree angle. All right, bend both knees, okay? And you're gonna take that left leg and open it up into warrior three. All right, I'm gonna touch my wall here or my desk because I am too close to furniture. All right. And let's bring that knee all the way up. Very nice. Push back into warrior two. Bring your arms with you. Not warrior two, warrior three. All right, guys. Warrior three. Balancing act. And let's bring that knee in. Come all the way up. Now we're gonna crescent. So the seat is going to open into warrior three. Very nice. Now let's drop that leg. Reverse warrior. So that front knee is bent, that back leg is straight, and you are stretching up and over. Very nice. And let's come up to warrior two. This is warrior two. Lower further into it. Now raise up, raise your hands up for four. And three. And two, and one. Very nice. Straighten that front leg. Whoop! Tilt into triangle. So this is triangle because you look like a triangle. Circle that arm for four, and three, and two, and one. Very nice. Bring that arm all the way down. Face that leg and try to kiss that knee. Very nice, get a nice stretch in that hamstring. Let's bend both knees and 
push back so you're in ball. Let's roll on up. Very nice. Starting from the top, other side, big inhale up. Let's hinge forward. All right. Now, you're in 90 degrees. Bend both knees. Take that right leg and take it back into warrior three. Very nice. Now let's hinge. Bring that knee all the way up. Back into warrior three. This time, arms to your side. Warrior three. Now, if you are wibbling and wobbling all over the place, that's okay. Just focus on keeping your core tight, and you will get better and better and better at this. Hinge back. Bring that knee back up. Now, let's open that knee and press it. So open it up and into warrior three last time. Very good. Let's drop that back leg and into reverse warrior. Stretch. You should feel a nice stretch along the whole side of your body. And let's tilt into warrior two. Lower further down and raise up for four. And three. And two. And one. Very nice. Straighten that front leg. Tilt into triangle. Take this top arm. Let's circle it for four. And three, and two, and one. Lower that arm down. Face that front leg. Try to kiss that knee. Stretch into this. You should feel a nice hamstring stretch right here. Bend both knees. Bring that foot in, and let's roll on up. Very good, you guys. We are done. We're just gonna do a little bit more stretching. Let's open up those legs. Open up those arms, and let's stretch over to the side. Very nice. And let's come up and stretch to the other side. And let's come back. All right, go ahead and step it in. Nice big inhale up. Palms together. Intertwine those fingers, bring them down in front of you, bend those knees, round that back, extend those arms in front of you, and feel that nice stretch in between those shoulder blades. Release. Find those hands behind your back, open those feet, and open up those chests. Chest muscles, and let's release. Last time, inhale up. Palms together, bring your palms down in front of your heart. Shoulders are down and relaxed. One big deep breath in and out. You guys are done. Thank you so much for following along today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have anything that you'd like to see from me or have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me a quick email. Thank you.